Hello friends, DK this side. It seems that everything is falling in place in the US. US economy is growing steadily. Job market in the US is very, very hot. In fact, the US economy has created or generated a jobs in the month of January, which is much higher than the estimate. Unemployment rate is retained at 3.7%. Markets are at all-time high. S&P 500 is now past 5,000 level for the first time. NASDAQ 100, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, both are trading at all-time high. Considering the price action and the chart formation, there is still a lot of cushion for upside move in these indices from the US stock market. So in this video, we will check the performance outlook of the US stock market in the last week. We'll check the prevailing market sentiments that are driving the US stock market. And then we will go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index and NASDAQ 100. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. By the way, how many of you is regularly tracking the US stock market weekly analysis video that comes on this channel every Saturday? Please offer your comments. So let us begin the analysis of the US stock market and prepare ourselves for the upcoming week. This was the fifth week in a row that US stock market was bullish. S&P 500 ended the week with a surge of 1.37% on week-to-week -week basis, while Nasdaq 100 outperformed the S&P 500 broader market index and it was bullish by 1.81%. Similarly, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index although remained flat but with a bullish tone and it was up by marginally by 0.04%. What does fear and greed index indicate in terms of sentiments which are prevailing in the US stock market? Currently, fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500 reads at 78. So it has already entered into the extreme greed zone. So the US stock market is in the grip of extreme greed. It is always useful to look at the stock market levels compared to where they have been over the past few months. Where the S&P 500, when it trades above the simple moving average 125, it is considered the momentum is good. So here is the market momentum with respect to S&P 500. S&P 500 is trading much above the simple moving average 125 period. So this particular indicator is indicating that the market is an extreme greed zone. So now let us check the put call options and we are looking at the five day average of put call ratio. We call it as a PCR. Now currently it is at 0.7. It is at 0.7 much below one level. So this particular indicator is also indicating the market is in extreme greed zone. The very well known major of the market sentiment is volatility index. We call it VIX. The VIX measures the expected price fluctuations or volatility in S&P 500 index over the next 30 days. So if we compare the current VIX level with respect to the 50 day uh, period moving averages, you can see it is almost kissing to each other. So this particular indicator is indicating that the market is in a neutral. Let case. us now move to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis and fix the support and resistance levels or demand and supply area on the price chart, which might be respected by the market in the upcoming week. Friends, do not forget to 
like this willing video. to succeed in the stock market join dk's diamond club channel membership for fundamental and technical analysis learn strategies and risk management to stay ahead of the curve join now and attend our weekly meetings every sunday this is the weekly chart of s&p 500 index this index finally closed in the last week at 5026.62 which means it was bullish by 1.37% on a week to week basis if you look at the price chart it has made the high all time high here then there was a bearish market and then finally very beautiful rounding pattern and now it is trading at all time high and in the last week for the first time this index went past 5000 level so it is very very important i will superimpose some of the technical studies which i have already done so if you look at the price action earlier all time high was at 4818.62 uh, which it made in january 2022 now currently it is trading higher of this and this was the rising price channel in which the price was trading now this rising price channel has given a breakout and upside so the upper fiber of this rising price channel is likely to act as a support because it was earlier acting as a dynamic resistance now considering the overall price action and price now trading decisively above the upper fiber of the rising price channel this zone becomes a very important support area in order to understand the support and resistance level let us go to the daily price chart this is the daily price chart what we can see in the daily price chart the market structure is nice higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure every time it is making some kind of continuation chart pattern here it make the bullish flag pattern it, here it made the cup and handle pattern and once again there was a breakout of a bullish flag now the price has gone past there is an existence of a gap over here so this gap becomes a very good support in s p 500 the gap is at 4957 and the 5000 is a psychological level also where the price prior to going past the 5000 level has struggled there so 5000 also becomes a support so 4957 to 5000 becomes the good support area or demand area in snp 500 now if you look at the price action and calculate the price target based on the bullish flag breakout so what target comes the next possible target comes based on the wave analysis with respect to the prior impulsive wave the first target is possibly it is 5068 and then 100% expansion comes at 5155 these all targets are quite notional because targets are always notional and minimum expected objective of any chart pattern but if you see the overall chart pattern if you go again to the weekly price chart to understand the price action based on this rounding pattern breakout this rounding pattern breakout it is almost moving towards 5740 level and once it goes past this level which will be the first target and then there might be some loss of upside momentum and correction might take place but eventually 100 percent expansion with respect to this pattern breakout comes to this important level which is at 6400 level so overall trend is so bullish that probably is still a lot of upside cushion is there in this particular index if it tentatively calculate the possible upside move in terms of percentage in first target it can move to around 13 14 percent and the second target it can move to around 26 27 percent now let us move to the price chart of nasdaq 100 to undertake the technical analysis so this is the price chart of nasdaq 100 in weekly time frame this index in the last week closed at 17,962.41 
and it made a high during the week was 17,987 for 9. So almost there at 18,000 level. So this way, this index was bullish by 1.81% on a week to week basis. Earlier, this index made 16,764.86, which was all time high it made in November 2021. Now it is decisively trading above this level. So there is a breakout of a rounding pattern even in NASDAQ 100. Now there is a formation of a rising wedge kind of a structure. Can we see this rising wedge kind of a structure and it has given a breakout of this. So clear expansion in the price can be observed on the price chart. So considering this rounding pattern, if we arrive at the next possible target, little intermediate term target could be to 21,800. But this index has a potential to move to 100% expansion level with respect to the rounding pattern chart pattern. Majority of the time, it moves through 100% of the level. So 100% level comes at 25,824. What could be the potential from the current market price? First target is likely to yield a return of around 21%. And in the second target, it still has a cushion to go uh, beyond 40% or 42%. So overall trend is extremely bullish in this particular index. Now let us move to the daily price chart to understand the price action. So this is the daily price chart. In the last week, we discussed about the possible move and target of NASDAQ 100 at 17,924 and it has already achieved. How did we calculate the target on the basis of this bullish flag breakout? So this target has been achieved. So the next possible target based on the bullish flag pattern itself is uh, 18,452. Uh, 18, so still there is a cushion on upside move. Now based on the price action, where could be the potential support in this index? One is the recent time formation of a cup and handle pattern, which is again a continuation chart pattern. So this neckline of cup and handle pattern becomes a good base. So 17,600 to 17,664 becomes a good base. However, there is an intermittent support. Since the price is currently trading above 61.8% expansion level, so this area where the price is struggled, there is a small body candlestick pattern over there. So 17,783 is an intermittent support. Once this support is broken down, then possibly it might come to level of uh, 17,600 to 17,664. So overall trend in NASDAQ 100 is extremely bullish. And if you see here, EMA 21 is acting as a dynamic support dynamic support and this level comes at around 17,350. So even if there is a deeper correction, possibility looks very remote. Even if the deeper correction exists, then possibly 7,350 is a very, very strong support because there is an existence of EMA 21, volume weighted moving average, and there is an existence of gap. There is a window kind of structure at 17,350, which will provide a support to NASDAQ 100. Overall trend is extremely bullish in NASDAQ 100. I can draw one more trend line. Uh, uh, watch it carefully. I'm drawing it. So this is the trend line which is likely to be respected by NASDAQ 100. Prices taken support here, taken support here, taken support here. So this trend line is almost kissing EMA 21 and volume weighted moving average is likely to provide the dynamic support to NASDAQ 100. Now let us move to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to understand the price action. Mm -hmm. This is the weekly chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. This index in the last week closed at 38,671.7 and during the week it has made a high of 38,755.68. So this index remained flat in the last week. Look at the price action. It has met the all time high here at 36,952.65 in January uh, 22. And then there was a bear market and then finally it has given a breakout of a rounding pattern over here. The price recently consolidated here for several weeks before it gave a breakout over here. 
So now 36,952 is the neckline of this rounding pattern. If we calculate the target on the basis of this rounding pattern, the first target comes at 41,919, say around 42,000. Then it has a potential to go to 100% expansion level that is 45,772. So if we just check the possible return based on the target 1 and target 2, from the current market price, target one might yield a return of around 7.5% to 8% and second target might yield a return of 17 to 18%. These all targets are notional and minimum expected objective of any chart pattern as per technical analysis. Now let us go to the daily price chart. Now if you look at the daily price chart, we can see some loss of upside momentum in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index because the price is too far off EMA 21. So the price is overextended and EMA 21 is acting as a dynamic support. So mean reversion is possible in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Now considering the price action, if you see the price action of 8th February, there is a formation of a hanging man kind of structure. Next day, again, similar kind of structure with the inside bar formation indicating the loss of upside momentum. But based on the price action, this was the area of resistance. Uh, and so 38,400 is an intervening support. And this area where the price is struggled, 38,100, this becomes the demand area. 38,100 to 38,400. Now, if we calculate the target on the basis of this bullish flag breakout, the next possible move could be to 39,000 level, but it has a potential to go to 39,550. This this I am talking about the short term possibility of movement of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. However, we have checked the intermediate term and long term targets, which is significantly higher. So in this index also, I can draw a trend line, which probably it might act as a dynamic support. So if we see this trend line, possibility of a major correction is not possible unless this trend line gives a breakdown then possibly of this uh, price may come to the demand area in a zone of 38,100 to 38,400 where there is an intervention of EMA 21 and EMA 21 based on the earlier price action is acting as a dynamic support. This correction took the price to EMA 21 and then it made a high. So even if the correction takes place like this, it is likely to make this kind of a structure in future also because it is in a markup phase. So higher highs and higher lows would be the possible price action. So in this this video we discuss the detailed price action in S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average. How many of you think about the long term target of S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100? Would it be achieved? What do you think about it? Offer your comments in this video. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.